flattening the curve. You've probably heard that term this week. That got us curious about what it really means and what role it plays in stopping this thing. We put our graphics team to work to show you. It's part of our commitment to bring you facts, not fear. Consider this line, the upper limit of our country's medical capability. Most days we're well below it. The system works well. People who are sick get care. Enter COVID-19. Right now the numbers are low, so low the system can handle it. Yet we know every person who gets the virus is likely to infect at least two other people. And that's why the numbers will continue to grow exponentially. Take Italy. In mid-February, the country had three cases and no deaths. The next week, more than 300 cases, 11 deaths. The next week, more than 2,500 cases and 80 deaths. The next week, more than 10,000 cases and 631 deaths. It pushed the country's health care system to its brink. This is what the U.S. will now attempt to avoid by trying to slow the spread over a manageable time. Infectious disease experts call it flattening the curve. And the more people who join, the flatter it gets. Sports fans who can't attend games, college students who won't attend class in person, cancel parades, conferences, concerts, people who wash their hands consistently, the sick who stay home. The more of us who sacrifice the norms of our daily lives, the more this works. Should this fail, people in this country, perhaps people you even know, will unnecessarily die in a system that cannot handle the spike. Health experts acknowledge COVID-19 appears to be at least 10 times deadlier than the flu, and those 65 and older are most at risk. Should it spread to half of the country, more than a million will die. But it's not all bad news. You have a role here. Yes, you. Remember, if you get sick, you're likely to infect two others. 80% of us who get sick will be fine. But even those who show mild symptoms will spread the virus. That's why you too need to join in. Flatten the curve. Avoid a quick spike. Allow our medical system the ability to handle the cases that are coming because they are coming. And there you have it. That's why it's really up to us to solve this problem.